On an island in the middle of the thickly forested Vologda region are 200 inmates stuck inside the most inescapable prison in Russia. This is Piatak Prison, also called Russia's Alcatraz, which houses only the country's most dangerous criminals. During Stalin's reign, it was used as a penal colony for victims of the purges and housed the so-called enemies of the Russian Revolution. Today, it holds prisoners that are serving life sentences and those formerly sentenced to death. In this video, we're taking you inside the cruel life of Russia's toughest island prison, Piatak. Founded in 1517 as the Russian Orthodox Monastery, it gained the status of a prison in 1997. But not just any prison, a supermax prison. So you can imagine that no inmate here is serving any misdemeanor charges. Here, you'll find the most violent and disruptive incarcerated individuals like serial killers, cannibals, pedophiles, terrorists, and mass murderers. There are very few cases of brutality, but it does have a reputation for its inhumane isolation. Anybody who violates even a single rule gets six months isolation confinement, which already tears through their 22-hour-a-day cell time. For the remaining two hours, they're allowed to walk in a cage that's patrolled from above by a guard. Each prisoner has to get cozy in a two-man cell. Any misbehaving prisoner is sent to the punishment cell, which is a small dark room with only a metal bucket and a fold-down bed for 15 days. During that time, no books are allowed, and in the daytime the bed is stowed and they must stand or sit on a tiny wooden perch a few inches wide. There are little to no sanitation facilities, such as lavatories, and no proper washing facilities. And because this is Russia, this island is surrounded by freezing cold water and snow. Now that's pure isolation from the world. It's one of the reasons why in the U.S. State Department's 2004 annual human rights report, Piatak Prison was called a, quote, extremely harsh and frequently life-threatening prison. They further remarked that because of these conditions, the prison is, quote, endangering the lives of prisoners, where AIDS and drug-resistant tuberculosis are already rampant. Part of the reason for cases of tuberculosis is that prisoners are given very limited hours to use the bathroom and don't have enough of a budget to afford the drugs. According to the National Library of Medicine report in 2003, about 74,000 prisoners are infected with tuberculosis, 36,000 are HIV positive, and 26,000 have syphilis. You can imagine how much of this number comes just from this prison. From the aerial photos, we can see that the prison occupies almost all the ground around the island and is surrounded by two layers of six meter high walls. Since the prisoners are all serious prisoners on the island, the prison guards must ensure that they are surveyed 24-7. The only time they can get some privacy is while going to the toilet and in the bath. Interestingly enough, the nearest towns to the island have to pay a special tax to support the Piatak prison, despite being isolated. But the town's happy, knowing that their hazards to human ranking is low, the security is tight, and there are no chances of a prison break. Even if they do, they'll have to cross the 12 square kilometer ice-cold lake and a wide range of swamps. After that, there's an endless virgin forest to cross, where you can imagine the guards will send their search and rescue dogs to track down any runners. Prisoners are allowed two visits a year for the first 10 years only. After that, prisoners are allowed two long and two short visits, but by that time, many prisoners have lost contact with their families. According to the prison psychologist Svetlana Kisilyova, quote, This place destroys these people. The first nine months or so, they spend time adapting. After three to four years, their personalities start to deteriorate. She further adds that, quote, There is no way someone can spend 25 years in a place like this without being psychologically destroyed. Most are said to leave this prison only when they die, because Russia abolished the death penalty in 1996. Back then, those that were about to be sentenced to death were relieved that the penalty was lifted. So, they all were resentenced to life in the Piatak prison. One warden member claims that he saw a bunch of happy inmates rather than miserable faces entering the prison. But as time went on, Piatak prison turned out to be no different from the death penalty. Only one of these ex-death row inmates was unhappy. 
He couldn't stand the psychological torture and was always quiet. One day, he killed himself and left a suicide note which read, quote, It is my choice. Please do not blame anyone. This was the first and only suicide on the Piatak prison grounds. Any inmate who did die, their unclaimed body was buried in a small village graveyard just near the island under markers bearing serial numbers. Not many know how many inmates are lying in peace there. By 2017, 80 out of 70 inmates served 25 years, which means that they have a right to parole. However, no lifer was ever paroled in Russia. Here, you can see that each cell has plates on the door that say the inmates' names and describe their crimes in gruesome detail. Let's now look at some examples of some of the inmates who've ended up here. Courtesy of the Daily Telegraph, we get to peek inside the story of Vyashalov, a 29-year-old prosecutor in the Smolensk region of Russia. He was indicted for stabbing to death two women who he barely knew just because he was bored and wanted to know how it felt to kill. He said that, quote, I took a knife, killed a bookkeeper and a cashier, and stole their money. I didn't need the money, but I needed to feel again. I was bored with my life. You've read Dostoevsky? Maybe you understand. He was also one of the first inmates who was originally sentenced to death, but was rescued by the reinstation of the moratorium on all executions. He said that, quote, I expected the executioner, and instead Jesus Christ came. Since then, I've prayed to God every day. I thank him for the sun, the sky, life, and our bread. You can tell that because of such a miraculous event, many inmates become more religious. Then, the Telegraph visited Valerie, a 39-year-old from Tiumen, an oil town in Siberia who had a zip tattooed down his throat and smaller tattoos on his eyelids. He was in his 24th year in prison for robbery, theft, and multiple murders. He acted as a hired gun for a businessman in the early 1990s and, according to him, quote, was caught within a week. When he was asked about his life and the prison conditions, he shared that, quote, this is the worst. There are no lavatories, no proper washing facilities, and you spend your whole life in a cell. When I came here, I told my wife to get a divorce. She cried a little, and we've never seen each other since. Oleg was 42 and was convicted of murder and inflicting serious injury in a notoriously brutal case in Yakutsk in 1989. His brother, who was given a five-year sentence for his role in the same crime, only visited him once. After that, he hasn't had a visitor since 1996. One of the popular inmates who turned his prison cell into a home was Vladimir, age 45. He was indicted for killing two men and two women in St. Petersburg in 1994. And the only explanation he shared was, quote, I was drunk. Soon after he was sent to Piatak, he started painting with oil paints and turned his cell into a gallery of rural Russian landscapes that he made from memory. Any inmate who walks inside Russia's toughest prison has accepted his fate that this will be his home for the remainder of his days. Vladimir is one of the rare cases who have accepted and embraced his place here. But to the many who die needlessly of mental illnesses, this place lives up to its bad reputation. Some might argue that this is the price they pay for their crimes. But the level of isolation that this prison provides make it almost inhumane for the inmates to survive. Do you think that the Piatak prison should be shut down or not? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.